Right, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Uh, monthly general tarot reading, April 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below. It's going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well, if you like the way I read tarot cards and... Uh, or basically you can hook up for the classes that I am providing now um, in order to get more information you just have to give me an inquiry on my Facebook page which you can find as well into the description down below so the first card for your month here which is the topic of the month itself is going to be the seven of swords followed by the next one which stands as the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic that will be the high priestess Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to stand against. And oh my God, that is going to be a hell of a month here, guys. We have the temperance, followed by the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. And yeah, it's going to be a hell of a month. That will be the sun card, followed by the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. That will be the two of pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have it is what you can do in order to further your goal, your long-term goal, that is. So in other words, what you can do to be happy, what you can do to be successful, what you can do to be loved. And uh, that will be the Four of Cups. Afterwards, it is what is going to hurt your long-term goal. That will be the Page of Wands. And the last one, which represents the guidance the Tarot is offering for your month here, that will be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so those uh, eight cards is what we do have for the month for you. And the first couple of cards, which are, uh, just let me close the fan here of cards. Okay, so the first couple of cards here, which are the situation, Oops, so we don't have a glare. Okay, so it's the situation and the uh, high priestess points that uh, within the month of April, your stance and in generally your representation is going to start becoming more and more demanding demanding because um you are to assess 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 for yourself that uh, it is now time to start collecting a debt a payment um an appropriate um, attitude for example that it is time for you to uh, in another words demand for what you have been owed up until uh, up until this moment so energy wise with the high priestess it is where now the inner if you will with the inner voice is going to start talking to you that you have to ask for a specific thing for thing for example or most importantly here looking at the uh, at uh, the situation itself it is what you have to storm around so where the things aren't going really well appropriately to or reciprocally to your efforts saying it is where you have to raise your voice about it and you're going to do so because you're going to have that nagging feeling that that's the way the, the, the things right now are supposed to happen because if you don't ask the answer always is going to be no for example, if you don't ask for a promotion, although you deserve it, the answer always going to be no. If you don't ask for a, an appreciation, although you deserve it, the answer always is going to be no. If you do not ask for a reciprocal love because you deserve it, once again, the answer always is going to be no. So what we do have here, it is the hunch and, uh, and the feeling where you have to make your stand, where you have to actually show a, a strong backbone and fight for your self-righteousness or for standing for your own personal rights. Once again, storming the situations around and uh, basically slamming the table with a fistful, demanding what you have been owed up until now. Now, on a more practical level, those two cards here are pointing that a huge secrets are to be revealed to you. Therefore, no deception whatsoever is going to be, uh, how can I say it, stronger than the truth, at least for you throughout this month. Because in that particular case, um, your inner voice, your inner wisdom, your inner guidance... It's going to reveal every single mystery for you and therefore will allow you here with the Seven of Swords 
to uh, pretty much take a precautionary measures not to be deceived and also will allow you to, identif to identify which foreign agenda will contribute for your foreign for your agenda i'm sorry and which foreign agenda actually is going to distance you from your goal or from your personal agenda moving next we do have the challenges and that will be the temperance now we said that you have you are to storm certain situation and the thing is is that whenever you identify which situation you have to storm you are going to be furious you are to be kind of like uh, like uh, uh, a wild dog without a leash what i mean it is that, uh, that there will be even rage in some of you and the challenge here is to try to calm yourself down and try to analyze what are the appropriate measures you can take so you kind of make your points across that you cannot be screwed around any longer but also you are not doing it in a such a way that people can name you a crazy person, for example, and that um, say, you know, they, they cannot use that against you, if you will. So that will be the challenge itself to try uh, and kind of like calm yourself down. And even though uh, you may want to burst out and to kind of like uh, annihilate everything around, that is not going to be the best course of action. Additionally to that, the temperance points that there are to be quite a lot of chores throughout the month itself that you will have to attend to and that will be a bit challenging for you for one or a, another reason. Now moving next, it is the gifts and the blessings and this is why I say that this is going to be a crazy month. Uh, gifts and blessing, well, pretty much you are going to end up in the natural direction of your life, meaning that everything that you have deserved it will be given to you because the sun here points that as a blessing your situation is get back is to get back on track meaning that is going to start unfolding naturally so <clears throat> if you perform well well you are to and once again and you demand for a, a reciprocal payment for example into your career that such is going to be given to you because the sun card as well here as a gift and blessings points that uh, you are to um, how can I say it get on the same page with many people around because the sun it's about burying down the hatchets of war of war and getting uh, in understanding with uh, with those that you are you are a bit on the edge up until uh, that particular time and uh, on the final note with the sun card which is the gifts and the blessings you are to be gift and blessed with a happiness there is just no other way to describe it and also your happiness is going to be happiness for many others which are around um, moving next it is how people are going to take on you what kind of impression you're going to make into the people around we have the, the two of pentacles so obviously from the card here guys if you observe it that is someone that has way too uh, quite a lot of things at their hands and pretty much people will see you very busy here but also with the two of pentacles people will see you very agile and adaptive what i mean is that now people will realize that they don't really know you that well because some concepts they thought that you are keeping them as a mantra now you are abandoning those concepts for example you know being like a slave and not asking for what you have been owed and people thought that they can boss you around that they can screw with you around well that's not going to be the case in this month for what it seems and so certain um, individuals in your life will understand that they kind of messed you or uh, not messed you, but say, uh, uh, took you for the wrong guy or for the wrong woman. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of like you are going to shock a little bit certain individuals into your life and uh, pretty much you're going to show them who is the boss. Uh, but uh, like I said, people are going to see you very adaptable, uh, someone who is willing, uh, who is capable, excuse me, to... Um, give up on certain aspects and certain goals even that are not paying off at that particular point and adopting new goals and new um, concepts which are going to pay off at that particular point which leads us to the next card by the way that represents what you can do in order to further your goal and we do have the four of cups so four of cups here points that 
you have to realize that things does not go forever. What I mean is that, for example, situations, they come and go. And eventually, your situation is going to go. Either you are on the top or you are on the downhill. It's going to go and it's going to be changed with a different situation. So right now, even if you are finding yourself in a comfortable place, you have to start thinking of how you are going to proceed with your future, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Because the four of, uh, cups points that while you may find yourself at that point emotionally satisfied, there is a, an opportunity that is hanging on around, but because of your emotional feelness at that particular point, you are unable to see it, let alone to catch it. And therefore, uh, throughout the months of April, you will need to have a more sharpened intellectual agility to logically identify a opportunities that otherwise your emotions are not going to be able to scope. And... Uh, Next one, it is uh, what can hurt your long-term goal here. That is a person who can serve as an, an example. This one, uh, they seem that they do not care about anything, that nothing can bring them down, but they are very, very fragile from within. And uh, pretty much they are giving a, a bad example of that you, you should not follow anything nor anyone. And that's not the case in this particular um, in this particular case because you have to follow you know what you have signed for so you can get paid either emotionally or either materially. The example here is just to abandon it because the the world is so big and you can always start something new. Well, not in that case as you have invested so much and you are on the final stage of it and you, you pretty much have to collect the fruits of your labor. And the last one, it is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering. It pretty much points that this stance of yours, this uh, now more sharp, uh, if I may express it that way, behavior that you cannot be messed around is going to provoke a... Um, a rare opportunity to further your goal once again and you have to take it you will start experiencing a lot of content exhilaration ecstasies and uh, ecstasy at some points but what is important with the ace of pentacles it is that whenever the opportunity offers you to establish successful business maneuvers you gotta do it and whomever is there for you that means i mean around you after you uh, readopt your stance of being milder to being semi-aggressive you know just because you don't want to be screwed around any longer those who are by your side well that means that you can maintain uh, harmonious relationships with them literally forever so that being said capricorn this was your monthly tower reading april 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and as well if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read that way um, I have started classes uh, in order to know how and when just uh, give me an inquiry on my Facebook page which is also listed down below in the description of this video and uh, my assistant is going to take you from there uh, so that being said um, stay safe now and uh, see you around until then bye